In this video today guys, I'll be showcasing how you can improve your ping in Fortnite. So if you've got high ping, packet loss or just bad connection in general, after watching this video you should see a huge improvement in your ping so it's as low as it can be. Guys, if this video helps out, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel and also check out my website gamesense.com to find out what the best pro players are using to play Fortnite, Valorant and CSGO with. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now let me show you guys how to improve your ping in Fortnite. Okay, so starting off with the most obvious tip, you guys need to use a wired connection if possible, as using an Ethernet cable to connect to your modem to your PC is not only more stable and more reliable than a wireless connection, but it's also way better for your ping, because when we compare the two together, you can see that on average I get between 40 to 58 ms using Wi-Fi, but using a wired connection I get between 13 and 20 ms, it's really that low, and that right there is literally a ping reduction of nearly 50% just from using a wired connection. So I'm hoping this shows how much of a difference you can get from using wired in comparison to using wireless. And if you guys are using wired or Ethernet, it's important that you get the right Ethernet cable. I myself recommend using either CAT5E or CAT6 Ethernet cables, as these are both good choices for gaming, but with CAT6 this may be the better option for many of you out there, as it supports a lot more as you can see on screen right here from the spec sheet, and I've also read that the build quality is just way better. Apparently it's got like some wiring where it reduces crosstalk and interference so I myself I just ended up getting the CAT6 cable and that's probably the best one for you out there as well. Don't bother with anything higher like CAT7 or CAT8 as these Ethernet cables are not necessary even if Amazon makes it look like they are. It makes it look like the higher you go up the better cable you'll get and obviously more expensive but these cables right here are mainly used in like data centers and things like that. Don't bother getting these instead get a CAT6 cable. I'll link some good ones in the description below. If unfortunately you're unable to use a wired connection like let's say your modem is downstairs and your room where your PC and stuff is upstairs and you've got the issue of not getting the Ethernet cable upstairs, what you guys might want to consider doing is getting a power line adapter to be a solution for this. These things are great guys as what they do is they basically send data signals via your home's electric wiring which in turn offers way less latency than a wireless connection would and they're also fast enough for high speed internet which can be a great fix for anyone out there that's unable to use a wired connection. Trust me if you've been playing on a wireless connection guys you may want to consider getting a power line adapter i'll link some great ones in the description below the only way that these things may not be beneficial is if your house is old and you've got old electric wiring if that's the case guys this could affect your internet speed and ping but overall i definitely think they're worth trying especially if you can just simply return it online for free wherever you get one guys make sure to check the refund policy and it could be a case of trying it and if it doesn't work out for you simply return it it's definitely worth trying if you can to lower your ping even further what we're going to do now is go over to our desktop and do a little tweak to our network adapter settings which these settings can be found by simply clicking on the start menu at the bottom left corner then typing in device manager just like that on screen then once inside of your device manager you want to go into the network adapters drop down then in here guys you want to try and locate your ethernet connection as you can see mine is obviously right here it's titled the intel ethernet connection all you want to do is right click on that specifically you want to go into the properties and in here guys you firstly want to click on the power management tab right there and you want to uncheck both of these options here the first one is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power turn that one off and then the second one is allow this device to wake up the computer you want to turn that off as well both of these options should be turned off like mine are right here guys and then after doing that you want to go into the advanced tab at the top and in here guys you want to turn off anything again power saving related such as the energy efficient ethernet you want to go ahead and switch that off off. and then if you scroll down to the bottom guys you should see a bunch of wake settings you want to turn off wake on link make sure that's disabled you want to turn off wake on magic packet disable that and then you also want to disable the wake on pattern match option too make sure that's disabled as well guys another way to improve your connection and in turn reduce your ping is to change or rather upgrade your dns server doing this can greatly improve your internet connection making it much more faster and much more secure and as well as that it can even reduce your ping so i highly recommend recommend doing this if you haven't already. To change your DNS server, you want to go onto your desktop as I am right here. You then want to go back into the start menu by clicking on the bottom left right there. Then in here you want to type in view network connections as I'm doing on screen. Once this opens up guys, you should see your Ethernet connection right there. Right click on that and click on new properties. And then once you are inside of the properties tab right here, you want to locate the IPv4 option which is the internet protocol version 4 option. Be sure to tick it if it isn't already ticked 
and then once it is ticked guys you can go ahead and double click on it which will bring you into its own properties and in here guys this is where you can change the DNS server there's two different ones that I highly recommend to give you the lowest ping possible the first one is Cloudflare's public DNS server and then the second one is Google's public DNS server starting off with Cloudflare's you want to go ahead and click the use following DNS server addresses then in the first one of a primary one you want to type in 1.1.1 that's four ones and then in the secondary one you want to type in 1.0.0.1 so that's 1001 and then if you want to use Google's public DNS server you want to type in the primary 8.8.8 so that's four eights in the primary and then in the secondary one you want to type in 8.8.4.4 so that's double eight four four and that's Google's public DNS server both of these are good and they should really reduce your ping but overall guys I recommend trying each one and seeing if there's any difference between the two but overall guys I think either of these two should improve your ping oh as well if you guys are on console you can also change your DNS server which I do highly recommend on the Xbox you just want to navigate to your network settings then you want to click on the setup wireless network option and then in the advanced settings you want to click on DNS settings and then click on manual and in here you can put in the same DNS um, servers I mentioned before so either Cloudflare's or Google's should work really well for you and if you're on PlayStation which I know many of you guys are it's very similar all you've got to do is navigate to your settings then click on the network tab and then once inside of the advanced settings in here guys you can literally change your DNS settings to manual then change your primary DNS and then your secondary DNS again to the um, values I mentioned earlier with Google and then Cloudflare as well then on top of changing your DNS server you guys can also clear your DNS resolver cache to speed up and optimize the DNS you've chosen even further to do this all you've got to do is go back on your Windows desktop click on the start menu tab and then inside of here you want to type in CMD this will bring up your command prompt in here guys you can type in the following command that's ipconfig space slash flush dns just like this on screen then press enter and you'll see that it's successfully flushed the dns resolver cache which again can speed up and optimize the dns that we've just chosen next up guys we want to install a free adware cleaner called malwarebytes adware cleaner just google it like that guys the first one should come up it should be on malware's website just go ahead guys download it get it all installed and then what you want to do is you want to run it to see if you your PC has any potentially unwanted programs or PUPs such as spyware, adware or just viruses in general. What you want to do guys is you want to scan this software and clean your PC from any of these as they basically suck up resources from your computer and can increase your ping which isn't good at all. So if anything does come up from your scan just be sure to quarantine any of those PUPs and you'll be all good to go. Then finally what you guys want to do is you want to go into Fortnite, you want to click on your settings and under the video settings tab you want to make sure you're using the correct matchmaking region that gives you the lowest amount of ping so as you can see from me it's obviously Europe right here out of all the options this gives me the lowest amount of ping I'm gonna go ahead and specifically choose that one I don't recommend using the auto one just in case Fortnite messes up and selects a high ping server you're much better off just choosing it for yourself so again you don't have to rely on Fortnite choosing it for you but again guys you want to choose whichever server is closest to where you live and gives you the lowest amount of ping and yeah guys that's how you get low ping in fortnite hopefully these tips have helped you reduce your ping overall but do remember guys the ping is mostly based on where you live so the closer you live to a fortnite server the better ping you will get or the lower ping you will get so just make sure you remember that guys when you're actually trying to make your ping better if the video helped out be sure to drop a like on it guys subscribe to the channel and use code life in the fortnite item shop as that helped me out a ton also check out my website gamesense.com to find out what the best pros play with in Fortnite, Valorant and CSGO. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.